Greetings. We have studied several concepts or guiding principles, rules, that pertain to dominant seventh chords. These will prove useful as we now add several secondary seventh chords to our contrapuntal harmonic tool chest. Though everything presented herein can be transposed to the 14 written sharp and flat keys, which university students would normally have to do in workbook assignments, our discussion today deals only with the chords of the key of C major. Listen. So, how did we get from three note triads to these four note chords? Let's make one thing clear. These new seventh chords are not dominant sevenths, because dominant refers only to the fifth degree of the scale, the five or five seven chord. Rather, these six chords are secondary sevenths, built by attaching a diatonic third above the fifth of each scale triad. Moreover, Dominant seventh chords consist of a major triad plus a minor seventh interval, counting up from the root of the chord. Like the dominant triad, or five chord, the dominant seventh, or five seven, is, by definition, a primary chord of the key a fifth below its root. Always. We observe that each of the secondary seventh chords contains a different mix of intervals. Some consist of a major triad plus a major seventh, counting up from the root of the triad. The tonic 1-7 and subdominant 4-7, rooted on the first and fourth scale degrees, are of this major, major quality. Three of the seventh chords combine a minor triad with a minor seventh, again counting up from the chord root. We find this minor minor chord quality at the supertonic 2 7, mediant 3 7, and submediant 6 7, rooted on the second, third, and sixth degrees of the major scale. The seventh chord built upon the seventh scale degree, or leading tone, the 7-7, seven, seven, consists of a diminished triad plus a minor seventh. So there they are, the functional seventh chords of the key of C major, the primary 5-7, surrounded by a gaggle of secondary seventh chords. Now, what can we do with these chords? How do they function in theory and practice? Well, first let's review. Today we introduced six secondary seventh chords in the key of C major. By analyzing and comparing the intervals contained within all seven seventh chords, we found four distinct chord constructions or qualities. Major minor, major major, minor minor and diminished minor. It will be good for students to practice playing through all the seventh chords with both hands up and down the scale. Like this.
also transpose the series through the other keys. Use the circles of ascending fourths. so on, or ascending fifths. and so on. Now, what can we do with these new tools? Ah, that's the topic of part two, which shows how to connect and naturally resolve these new secondary seventh chords with triads we already know. In other words, how to cadence with them. Exciting stuff, eh? Thank you for watching.